Widening northbound US 29 to three lanes to match the southbound side will help Howard County drivers and those traveling through to, uh, to get to where they need to go more quickly and safely without losing so much time in bumper to bumper traffic. And while I'm talking about bumper to bumper traffic, every evening rush hour turns this roadway behind us uh, into a parking lot filled with many Baltimore area residents heading north. And that is why this project includes building a barrier to protect residents along US 29 from the sights and sounds of all that traffic. We all know, anybody who lives in Howard County or travels this route, uh, if you live in the region, you know what times this begins to back up. I can tell you as a, not only as county executive, but as a father with uh, two daughters and lots of sports and activities. Uh, one of our daughters has uh, an activity at the Meadowbrook uh, Park around 5 o'clock and we know that you take Cedar Lane through Little Patuxent to, by to 108 to bypass, you stay away from 29 and hopefully the, when this project is done that will no longer be the case. Quite often the public questions the need for uh, raising taxes from time to time but I think when they see that uh, the, the increase in the gas tax has resulted in the increased safety and convenience for the motoring public, they'll fully understand uh, why these are necessary from time to time. Those of us who live in the area know the problems that we uh, face when we try to get on the 29 northbound. So what do we do? We drive through neighbors, neighborhoods, and yards, and, and highways and roads that weren't designed for that kind of traffic flow. So the people who drive this road every day, and most of them are not Howard Countyans. We are the center of the state. This is a pass-through road for most people. They're going to be saying, thank you, Governor O'Malley. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor Brown. It's my pleasure to be here to represent the Howard County Council today. And just to briefly say how important this improvement right here is to our county, and as Senator Roby, former Police Chief Roby, stated, to keep our neighborhood roads safe. And when we can move the traffic back to Route 29 where it belongs, we will be creating a much safer environment for many of our neighborhood roads. Three, two, one.